Hey, welcome to another Call of Duty Ghost. At this free time, we're time loading up a free for all. And the Overlord? Hey, basically, Overlord is a large military outpost located in the desert. There's a large two story central building in the uh, middle of the map. And it appears that's where most of the conflicts is uh, held. Oh yeah, just thought I'd take care of that guy. Yeah, so thanks for joining. Yeah, just uh, let me know in the comments uh, how you join your ghost. I'd also be interested in uh, seeing what is your favorite map so far, and what is your general impression of uh, ghost. I actually find the maps are quite. Uh, quite well done. They're much larger than any maps I could uh, recall in any uh, Call of Duty. Some are saying the uh, MW3 had equivalent size maps, but uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely a, uh, you know, a change in the Call of Duty. I guess with larger maps there you get uh, more places for campers to camp, so you've just got to be careful. So let me know um, if you're finding the um, ghost is sort of uh, being a bit slow on the uh, Xbox 360, which I'm running at the moment. Enemy care package incoming. Oh Jesus! Enemy care yeah, there's all sorts of new. Weapons and lethal equipment. Oh, that must have been an IED. Looks like uh, once you walk into the general area, it looks like it's got a few canisters. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my uh, just trying to get used to this uh, new ghost. Uh, Call of Duty. Hey, Satcom spotted. I'm trying to find the right weapon and the right perk so yeah if you've got any suggestions for what what perks you're using uh, drop us a line drop us a comment yeah, share with the others oh jeez enemy oracle inbound i find the weapons a lot stronger in this um, call of duty i mean you, you don't really stand a chance if somebody's got the sights on you and uh, you're not quick enough to move away. I mean, you're, you're just a couple shots. You're gone. Whereas I found in Black Ops 2, you know, you could actually escape. Yeah, see what I mean? I think the weapons are a little more realistic. Yeah, let us know what your favorite weapon is so far. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Yeah, SATCOM seems to be um, like the UAV in the Black Ops 2. See, seems to be a fairly popular. Enemy SATCOM uh, spotted. Let's see, a fairly popular perk. Sorry, not perk. Strike Enemy package. Enemy package incoming. Yeah, much like the U. UAV, it's um, uses satellite communications to relay enemy movements. This is quite. Yeah, as you're playing. Oh, that little blue thing, Sam. Oh, what is that again? Jesus. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Have to find out what the hell that was. Yeah, I kind of walked into that one. Yeah, 
Yeah, it seemed like in Black Ops 2 the uh, SMGs were a little more popular with the smaller maps. With these larger maps, the assault rifles are uh, seeming to uh, be more popular. A little more punch. There's also a thing called squad points uh, used in uh, multiplayer. Call of Duty. Yeah, it's just to you, uh, the squad points are used to unlock new characters, failing, squad. weapon, attachments, and strike packages. Enemy satcom spotted. Oh, God damn it. So we have new strike packages in the uh, ghost. Enemy satcom spotted. So there's two types of strike packages: uh, assault and support packages. Time's almost up. Okay, we're almost finished. So uh, yeah, thanks for uh, joining. I've got plenty more ghosts coming, and also some uh, Battlefield 4. Been playing both. I haven't quite decided which ones. Enemy control Oracle. I prefer. They both have their uh, pluses. Okay, thanks for joining, and I appreciate any likes that you leave. Um, and we'll join you. We'll see you in another game coming up soon. Okay, thanks again. Damn, I'm got the one. I got the shot. <laughs> see you later.